guys, uh, welcome back to Cafe Unbox with me, Rory, and today we're going to do uh, unboxing and first impressions of this. This is a Sony Xperia XZ Premium, Sony's latest flagship phone. This phone was released a couple of months ago, got it through my network provider, Meteor. I had an option to upgrade between this and a Samsung S8. I chose this for a few reasons, mainly is because you don't see a lot of them around. The Samsungs are dime a dozen, don't see many of the Sonys around, and I wanted to see if Sony finally got their shit together. This phone, as you can see from the front of the packaging, got best smartphone at NWC 2017. Looking at a lot of the tech reviewers out there, looking at a lot of the YouTubers out there, um, they gave this phone a massive thumbs up for a lot of reasons, mainly because of the camera and the display, I think. It's got a 4K display and it shoots in 4K video as well. So what we'll do is we'll give, do an unboxing, we'll give you an idea of what's in the box, and we'll just go through some first impressions of what I think of the phone. Before we do that, we go ahead with some of the specs, okay? So what you're looking at, we're looking at a 19 megapixel camera, motion eye sensor, we're looking at a 13 megapixel selfie camera, we're looking at a 5.5 inch 4K display, which is like a wow. You're looking at a USB type C, you're looking at a 3,200 milliamp power battery, which is decent for a flagship. You're looking at a Qualcomm Snapdragon 835, which right now is kind of like the newest version of uh, that, that Snapdragon processor. It's got 64 gig of storage and it, um, it's water resistant up to IP68-65-68, water and dust resistance, okay? And I'm pretty sure it's in or got, got four gig of RAM. Uh, the variant I went for was the Luminous Chrome model, which for me, looking at all the videos online, stood out like, wow, it was like a major, major wow. Um, so what we'll do is we'll unbox it, give you an idea of what's in the box, and we'll just give you an idea of my first impressions of the phone. Okay, so as you can see, this is the box, cute little white box. Not gonna, you know, blow your mind as far as packaging goes. I mean, like I said, a lot of the videos, if you look back at mine, you see a lot of the Chinese manufacturers bring out loads of smartphones, but their packaging and their unboxing experiences are fantastic. A lot of the big manufacturers like Samsung, iPhone, uh, Sony, HTC, Huawei, no, not, not so much Huawei. Um, they kind of give you a very basic unpackaging experience, okay? So what do you get in the box? So we'll take off the lid, open that bad boy up. So automatically you're greeted with the phone. Now you can see I got the Luminous Chrome model and it looks already, straight away it looks stunning, okay? So we'll take that, put that to one side. So in the box you're met with a little sleeve and in the sleeve you have what looks like your paperwork, quick start guide and your USB charging cable which of course, for 2017, and like all other flagships is, it's a USB type C, okay? Leave that to one side, you get your charging brick, which uh, supports fast charge, and good old Sony, the two in a uh, set of headphones, or earphones, okay? So that's what's in the box. Put that to one side for one second. And this is the phone in question, okay? Yeah, wow, that's absolutely stunning, okay? I can see already, picked it up for a couple of seconds and it's covered in fingerprints, okay? Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful looking phone. So, Luma's Chrome version, like I got a mirror effect on this, it's, it's, it's a mirror, to be quite honest, okay? Fingerprint magnet. Like I said before, if you're gonna go off and get a phone that has a glass back or has this kind of effect on it, or has this build material in it, you're better off going and getting yourself a back cover for it, just to kind of save from any scratches and any, it's gonna wreck your head if you keep um, getting that smudge with fingerprints, or if you get a scratch, it's even going to fry your brain, okay? So on one side of the phone, we have the power on and off button, and we have the volume up and down rocker. On the top of the phone, you have your um, 3.5 headphone jack. Uh, on the bottom, you have your USB Type-C charging port. Um, and on the other side, then you have your micro USB and your uh, micro SIM card expandable storage slots, okay? Now, also at the bottom of the phone, I noticed you have a dedicated camera button, which is fantastic, which means you don't have to unlock the phone to take a photograph. You can just go straight into that app straight away just by pressing that button, okay? While the phone is locked. Uh, feels fantastic in the hand, a little bit slippery, not so slippery like the Xiaomi Mi Mix. I had that phone. I didn't like that phone at all. It was like a major, major letdown for me. It was made from ceramic, beautiful looking phone, Super heavy, super big, super awkward, and incredibly slippery, okay? This phone is not as slippery, but it's not far behind. Um, feels good, it's got a nice um, kind of chamfered edges on it. It's got a beautiful symmetrical look to it, feels really good in the hand, got a nice weight to it. I would straight away go ahead, go ahead and put a screen protector on that, and also a back cover. Otherwise, it's just absolutely gonna fry your head with, with smudges, and it's gonna just keep getting dirty, okay? And like me, keep a microfiber cloth, beside you at all times, because you're just gonna to want to keep this clean. 
uh, we power on and we give you an idea of the display. Uh, like I said, it has a 4K display on it. I've seen this phone side by side with a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus and to be quite honest, it still isn't a patch on the AMOLED displays. Now, as you can see as well from this phone, it has a massive forehead and a massive chin. It's not one of these 2017 flagships that's gone all out for the infinity displays or the aspect ratio screens. It's got big, big bezels. And to be quite honest, I don't mind big bezels on phones. I'm using the Google Pixel XL right now, my favorite phone I've ever had. And that phone also has huge bezels and it doesn't bother me at all. I, you know, when you're gaming, you don't want to have your thumbs covering stuff on the screen. If you're scrolling up and down, you want somewhere to rest your thumbs, not ideally not resting them on the screen, okay? Massive bezels. Um, the phone is on, I go ahead and unlock it. Uh, yeah, like I said, and I had seen this phone side by side with the Galaxy SA Plus. And again, the AMOLED display is just absolutely stunning, okay? Now this, I know it says it's a 4K display, but it just, it wasn't a patch on it. Beautiful looking phone all the same. Now it does shoot in 4K and it also has a super slow-mo camera, which looks like a lot of fun to use. I haven't got, a, I haven't got around to using it yet, but I'm sure I will have a lot of fun with that, okay? What else can I say about it? It looks beautiful. You're not going to see many people, especially where I'm from here in the West of Ireland, with a phone like this. Um, you can go on Amazon right now and pick this phone up for up in or around, including postage and packaging, in, in or around 700 euros, which is roughly the same price as an S8, uh, Samsung Galaxy S8. Now, a lot of people out there are so used to Samsungs because they're everywhere over here and they're so familiar with them that they probably would go for a Samsung and kind of stay away from Sony. But uh, listen, take a shot in the dark. Go out, get it, and see what you think. It's going to be a really good phone, software, everything like that. It's going to be a really clean experience. And the one thing I know about Sony phones as well, it comes absolutely preloaded with bloatware. Close. It comes preloaded with bloatware. Um, it could, yeah, it's like it comes pre-installed with bloatware. So you're actually going to find yourself scrolling through a lot of rubbish um, to get to certain apps. Um, it's like it shoots in 4K, but it's not set up for 4K video. You have to go through a lot of settings to set that up. But there it is in question, that's the phone. Uh, it's a nice phone, I'm gonna play with it for a while, I'm not too sure how long it's gonna keep me away from having my uh, Google Pixel XL, but I'm gonna give it a go, you know, oh, it's only fair. Um, if I'm not, I'll probably ship, ship it on and um, wait to get the Note 8 when it comes out. The Note 8 was launched, but it hasn't been released officially yet, to roughly the end of September, over here anyway. So there you go. That's my unboxing and first impressions of the uh, Sony Xperia XL Premium. Beautiful looking phone, by all means, beautiful phone to feel in the hand. It is a fingerprint magnet. Oh, and by the way, sorry, just to go back a small bit, that power on and off button, that doubles also as a fingerprint sensor. Now, for me personally, that has to be the best placement for a fingerprint sensor I've seen on any phone right now. It's just a normal, it's just a normal place to put it because your thumb naturally rests on the side of that phone. And just to have it there, it's just perfect. Back of the phone, not so, it's okay, it's not so much as good on my Pixel. On the front of the phone, again, it's not a normal place you rest your thumb, but on the side of the phone, I think the the, the, finger, the fingerprint sensor placement on the phone is absolutely perfect, okay? So that was my unboxing of first person. I'm gonna give it a shot, I'm gonna use it as my daily driver for hopefully in or around a week before going, without going back to the Pixel, and we'll see how far I go, okay? Don't forget, if you like these videos, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what you think. Drop a comment, let me know what you think, okay? So, like I said, that was my unboxing and first impressions of the Sony Xperia XL Premium. Beautiful phone. Check you guys later, okay? Bye-bye.